My lips are gonna curse me today. Hi guys, I hope you all are doing great. Today I'm really excited to do this video because I can see so many red lipsticks lying around me. Uh, well, today I'll be talking about all the red lipsticks that I own as I told you in my previous video. I can very well connect to all of you who think you have not found your perfect match of red lipsticks. My search for the perfect red lipstick kind of never ended and eventually I ended up talking so many. So let's get into the video straight without talking much. So the first lipstick that I have is from Streetwear. It's called the Color Rich Ultra Moist Lipstick and this is in the shade Reveting Rouge. And since you all know this is like a very affordable range of lipstick and this is one of my initial red lipsticks that I had picked up. This can be a very beautiful shade if you are a beginner you can definitely go for this because it's not that expensive and it's like the most uh, economical one I have in my collection currently. Uh, it does have that orangish undertone to it so it makes uh, it more like a carrot red kind of a shade. So as you can see it instantly brightens up your face and has this really good effect and it is very moisturizing so you don't really need a lip balm beneath this lipstick. The next lipstick that I have is from Maybelline Color Show and this is 202 Red My Lips. Uh, this is again a very good shade if you're a beginner. Again, it's very economical. This is something that I even wear to work because it's really not that bright. This one again is a very hydrating lipstick. It leaves that glossy finish. So if you are a matte lover, you might want to give this a skip. Maybelline does have a few other lipstick from their matte collection. The next lipstick that I have is called All Fired Up and this is from Colorbar. This one again is a bright red but this instantly gives a lot of life to your face. This is more like a proper red shade and as you can see, uh, it is like semi matte. Now this shade particularly has kind of maroon undertones to it. And it's more like an ox blood kind of lipstick but I really wanted to own one of these so I went ahead and picked this but if you're really into red red then I think all fire up would be a better option for you. The next lipstick that I have is again from Colorbar and let me tell you that Colorbar lipsticks are really uh, a little bit on the drier side so you will need a lip balm underneath. This has a tint of orange to it but I wanted to include it in this video itself because few people like red lipsticks with a little bit of orange undertones. Now this is called Orange Blossom and this is again a very matte lipstick. Now while I'm swiping itself, you can make out that this is a really dry lipstick. And this lipstick is like insanely matte. The next shade that I have is from Rimmel London and this is called 400 Berry Queen. This is again a very moisturizing lipstick and it's again uh, having some maroon undertones to it. So it's like a dark red or a ox blood kind of a shade. This lipstick again is very moisturizing and has that glossy effect so you don't really need a lip balm beneath this. Before starting off with the liquid lipsticks, the last one that I have is called In Color Lip Perfection and this is in the shade 150. Now this again is like a dark red or an ox blood kind of a shade. As you guys can see this is a very buttery lipstick and has a lot of glossy finish. Moving on to the liquid lipsticks, the first one that I have is my all time favourite is the Miss Claire liquid lipstick and this is in the shade number 10. Now I would definitely recommend this to all the beginners out there who want to experiment with red lipstick but at the same time do not want to invest a lot of money. The application is so smooth, it feels like a lipstick but eventually it settles to fine matte. I have been using this lipstick so much, I think I am currently running out of it. So the next lipstick that I have is the Kylie Cosmetics. This is the matte liquid lipstick and in the shade Marriage Okay. This has been my favorite lipstick. Thank you Pamela so much for giving this to me. Uh, this is like the ultimate red lipstick. The formula is so creamy and the consistency, oh my god, I can't tell you guys. This is like the perfect red lipstick as you can see and this is gonna settle to fine matte that's what i love about this lipstick let me show you how it looks on me if there is something which you could talk about after mac ruby woo i think it would be this lipstick whenever i apply this lipstick i feel like talking too much i don't know if that's even related 
Oh yeah, did I mention that it doesn't come off easily? The next shade that I will be talking about is from Dose of Colors. My lips are feeling very dried up right now. So I'm just gonna apply some lip balm. Kind of kept it handy with so many red lipstick swatches going on. I'll quickly swatch this one for you guys. Again, the consistency is so creamy. It's so easy to apply. So what I actually love about this lipstick is, as you guys can see, it catches a lot of light. It looks a lot of glossy at the moment, but after like few minutes, it's gonna settle to fine matte and fine powdery finish. So that's the magic of a dose of color. And this is again, one of my favorite red lipsticks. So in a lot of videos, you'll see me wearing this and I'm gonna wait for a few minutes until it settles to fine matte so that I can show you all what exactly I mean. So the swatch over here is pretty much dry up and as you can see these over here have a lot of shine but these two over here are like so matte this is my miss claire soft matte lipstick which again is like very matte but these two are like so dead matte and the one that i'm wearing right now is pretty much dried up and it's gonna settle to the perfect powdery matte lipstick and at the same time it does not feel a lot uh, stretchy on your lips if you guys know what I mean when you apply these matte lipsticks that's the magic of these liquid lipsticks anyways I'm not gonna talk like too too much I'm just gonna show you quickly how exactly this looks so this is partly dried and this is how it looks the next lipstick that I have is again from Kylie Cosmetics and this is again having a bit of orange undertones. This is in the shade number 22 but again I wanted to include it in my red lipstick collection so let me just quickly show you guys how exactly this looks like. So that's the shade right there. It's having some orange undertones. It's like a matte orange shade. And that's 22 from Kylie Cosmetics. And finally, the last lipstick that I have is from NYX. This is in the shade Copenhagen. And when NYX launched in Mumbai, I rushed to the store just to pick up this shade particularly because I have been eyeing this shade since such 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 a long time there's the shade copenhagen which is like my ultimate lipstick it's my ultimate shade i love red lipsticks which have these deep berry tones to them so let me swatch my favorite lipstick This again settles to a very comfortable matte finish and the NYX liquid lipstick or the soft matte is very similar to the Miss Claire soft mattes. So if you do not want to like put so much money into the NYX one, you can definitely go ahead with the Miss Claire one. And that completes all the red lipsticks that I have till date. That's my red lipstick collection. I mean, is it even fitting in the frame? So many of them but they are slightly a bit here and there there's some variety and sometimes i like to combine like two shades and come up with a different shade altogether. let me know if you guys want me to do my pink and neutrals or nude lipstick collection as well i would love to do it even though this is like a bit tedious and i have like a lot of mess happening in here i wish i could show you guys the kind of mess that i'm surrounded with but anyways that's the fun of youtubing i guess and don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you all soon lots of love to each and every one of you bye i hope this video was useful oh my god i need to tie my hair i can barely see the swatch but i don't even want to take it off and my hair is all over my swatches and I probably have to have a hair bath pretty soon.